What's up guys, Jocelyn Davis here for Clever TV, hanging out behind the scenes on the set of White Frog with Manish Dayal. First time meeting you, very excited yeah, to uh, be able to meet one of the stars of 90210. Um, very, very cool that you're a part of this film. Tell me about your character. Uh, my character, his name is Ajit, mm -hmm. and he's the... Very well dressed. Thank you, I know, they're, they're making me wear polos and khakis. I haven't. I wear t-shirts and jeans every day. This is uh, interesting. So he's the president of the um, the Republican Club. He's very conservative. He's sort of um, not as warm to Nick coming in. They're a group of friends. He sort of doesn't want the, you know, the feathers ruffled in that sense. He okay. sort of doesn't want to, um, he, he doesn't welcome Nick as, as kindly as everybody else does. He's, he gives him a hard time and he's, uh, you know, an abrasive guy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But I have to say, from the behind the scenes perspective I'm getting of your castmates, this must be a really fun job for you. Look at this. We're in a mansion. It, yeah, like, this is kind of cool. Is the, this job is epic. There's no, there's no denying that. It, it's amazing. I mean, the cast is great. They're super talented. Uh, Tyler, Greg, Justin, Boo Boo, everyone's great. Um, and it, 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 the crew is awesome. The director, Quentin, he, he's... Um, really really knows what he wants and he's specific and he's good um, yeah I really can't ask for a better yeah. experience I mean it's, it's pretty awesome what was it about this job that really attracted you like you really wanted this role because dot 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 you know why I really wanted this role is that the character that I'm playing is a is a character that I've never played before yeah I've never played a conservative guy like this I've always played sort of like the cool young hip chill dude you know what I mean but um, this guy is—he's—he's he's got a certain degree of uh, uh, rigidness that I, I that, that I wanted to to play and explore and um, yeah, because like on 90210 or any of the, you know yeah. the other parts that I've done, I, you know I play a, you know a young, charismatic, chill guy, you know, and and this this character is totally different. So that's why I was really interested in it. Also, um, I really thought the script was great. I, thought, I think it's a really interesting story. It's new. It's unique. It's. It's, it's groundbreaking in many ways. It's, it's going to be it's going to be awesome. Awesome. Now I have to ask because yeah. I've spoken so far with two of your co-stars, both of whom are werewolves. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like left out of the pack? Are you getting inducted secretly? <laughs> Is your next role going to be a werewolf film? <laughs> no. <laughs> it might be. I don't know. Uh, let me think. I mean, uh, I'm not going to sit here and say that I haven't been up for a werewolf. I have yeah. been up for a werewolf before, but. Um, <laughs> No, I'm not a werewolf currently, and um, we'll see what happens in the future. I don't but know. you're open really to cool. the idea. Oh, yeah. It could Definitely. be pretty awesome to be a werewolf. <laughs> Why not? Like, oh that'd be gosh. awesome. Now, you kind of mentioned 90210. We're huge fans on Clever TV of the show. And at the close of last season, the future fate of your character was kind of in limbo. Although, congrats on the marriage. Yeah. That's kind of a big deal. Um, do you know what's going to be happening with your character next season at all that you can share with us? Yeah, I mean, I can share some things with you. Uh, I'm, you know, they don't let us t say right. too much, but um, well, uh, my character Raj uh, and Ivy, my my my, my wife, <laughs> feels yeah. weird saying that, but she's my wife, my beautiful wife. Uh, we move in together and we sort of um, start our lives together. And the beginning of the season, you see that, and you see how we we sort of enter into adulthood in a certain way, and we're young and sort of getting used to these new responsibilities that we have. Uh, we, how we move in is sort of interesting. You'll, you'll see in the first episode, which I think premieres in September. Yes. Uh -huh. um, there's ups and downs with my character, as you know. He's suffering from a terminal illness, right. and so um, there's there's that like sort of storyline that's going to take us through the season. So very very cool. Yeah. Now, last question before we wrap things up, I want to know like if you guys had a yearbook for this movie, yeah. who would be the class clown? <laughs> Tyler Posey, without a doubt. Tell me a story. <laughs> Tell me something. Give me something. Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> there's tons of things I can give you. Uh, we, every, beginning of every scene, he comes in and has some crazy line that like <laughs> throws the whole scene, but but in a good way. I mean, yeah. it, it's fun. It's awesome because it sort of shakes things up a little bit, you know. Yeah. And it's it's always a good time. He's always got something crazy to say in the top of the scene, you know. Well, it seems like your characters are kind of polar opposites from what you've told me. Uh, yes, and kind of. they are like, yeah, we're totally polar opposites as characters. But you know, there's a certain degree of like, you know, uh, 
fun energy that that I'm bringing to the character too. That I'm trying to keep keep him still young and, and cool and you know awesome. down with his friends. Yeah. You know? Very cool, yo. Well, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for letting us hang out on set. Hey. It was nice to meet you too. All of you guys stick with us right here at Clever TV for all the latest on this guy's many jobs, 90210, and of course, White Frog. Thanks for watching. See you Thank guys you. later.